All right, biology boys and girls, uh, let's talk a little bit about what is science and what is biology. Uh, with this initial video, we're going to cover three major things. One, we're going to have a clear-cut understanding about the definition of science, two parts, make sure you look for that. Uh, two, we're going to know the different practices or processes that are carried out when somebody does science. And finally, three, we're going to have a really basic level understanding of what is biology. Okay, uh, so without further ado, we're going to take it away. All right. What is science and what is biology? Quick little introduction here. Okay. Science itself has been around for thousands of years. There have been great strides in the field over the past 500 and significant progress and advancement over the last 100. So much over the last 100 that we've had even people make music videos, quirky, awful, obscene music videos, terrible music from the 1980s. This is Thomas Dolby's What is, or Blinded Me with Science. Check it out in your own time here. Just wanted to link it to kind of give you a little uh, quirky little funny thing to check out there, all right? But moving on, knowing what science is a little bit, uh, we're going to describe and define it, especially the first part. First thing I want you to do is I want you to take 10 to 20 seconds and jot down anything you think of when you hear science, all right? Go. Well, what do you have? Where did you put? Okay. Um, you could have put questioning. You could have put the human body, Erlenmeyer flask, beakers, chairs, textbooks, experiments, or labs, a cell phone. If you wrote any of those things down, you're on the right track. All of them have something to do with science, either directly or indirectly. The answers may be scattered all over the place and not really seem connected at all, and that's fine because that brings us to the first part of defining science where science is a gigantic field of study that encompasses many topics, ideas, processes, and technologies. It is huge. The field of science is so big that one person could spend their entire life studying, researching, and learning from science and never come close to conquering it all. The topic or sub-study list is jam-packed with different options, different sciences. For example, biology, a little bit of zoology, a little bit of oh, botany, biology, microbiology, ecology, population ecology. Oops, skipped a few here. And I have them upside down. Oh my God. Let's switch around. <laughs> All right. Anatomy and physiology. So much for that dramatic effect. Anatomy and physiology. And a little bit of neurology, histology, oncology. Oh, had them flip. Okay. Uh, embryology, developmental biology, molecular biology, cell biology, on and on and on and on and on. Okay. All these topics are just on the life side, though. Okay. Um, whether they're upside down or right side up, they're all, all just the life side. And there's plenty more that go with just the life side of science. You can't forget at all that we're not even talking about physics, chemistry, earth science, or space science this year. Okay, so there's tons of different sub-studies that even fall under those larger areas of sub-studies. So science is a gigantic field. Okay, um, hopefully you have a little bit of a grasp on the magnitude or the size of this field of study that we know as science. Tons of different topics and ideas fall under the term science. Now, for part two of the definition, okay, I'd like to take another 10 to 20 seconds and jot down how someone may do science, how somebody actually does science, okay? Go. Well, what would you put? Observing, inferring, experimenting, investigating, researching, documenting data, collecting data, analyzing data, all of those things would be correct. You are listing some of the major processes or practices of science, so good for you. And this parlays into part two of the definition where studying or doing science is actively searching for reproducible, naturally occurring evidence that helps to explain naturally occurring phenomenon, i.e. things, occurrences, or events. Okay, phenomenon are things that happen in nature. Simply put, part two is all about asking questions. Okay, notice the emphasis placed on the words naturally and nature. Science is about what we as human beings can explain in nature with the tools and knowledge about nature that we currently have. In science, if humans cannot explain it, if we do not know, we state that. Right now, science cannot explain everything, and that is fine. 
That does not stop the human race, though, from continuing to try to explain nature through science. True science does not use supernatural information or ideas to help explain nature in naturally occurring phenomena. It is not considered science if explanations include supernatural, higher invisible powers, or any objects that cannot be reproduced naturally as evidence. All right, so veering back to part two now, um, what does science look like when we are asking questions and looking for answers? How does exactly one do science? Well, by carrying out these scientific processes, observing, inferring, hypothesizing, inquiring, researching, modeling, experimenting, data collecting, data analyzing, data analysis, data analyzing, collaborating, communicating, blah, 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 blah. tongue twister there, okay? But there's tons of different practices, and again, these are just not it. There are several more. All right, uh, but these are the major ones. These are the practices that you'll be focusing on this year as we learn biology and apply our knowledge. Know them, love them, and cherish them, okay? Now, you may be wondering, oh, what about technology? Where does it fit in? Okay, technology usually refers to the tools used or created by the study of science because it was included in part one, so we need to touch on it real quick. Sometimes science is studied to produce technology, other times it is simply a byproduct, as in an unwanted but an accepted outcome of somebody doing science. Whether it's the focus of a study or not, technology has become a big piece of the field of science and will continue to be as we grow older. It has opened many doors and assisted in our knowledge gain. Okay, that is for sure. Well, that does it for this video, but wait, 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 hold up! What about biology? You are going to be in biology this year, so let's talk about it real quick. You need to know a little bit about it. You need to be able to define the basics of it. Well, let's just break down the two parts of the word. Bio is Greek for life. Ology, Greek for study of. There you go. Biology is a study of life, okay? But life itself is a gigantic topic. There's many different types, processes, structures and functions, relationships, interactions, creations and development of and behaviors that you're going to study this year, okay? So, life, the study of it, pretty simple, but boy, can it get really complex when you try to get very, very specified in your study of life. So, that's what you're going to be covering this year in biology. Alrighty, uh, let's go ahead and escape out of this Prezi, uh, take you back to the main page. That does it, boys and girls, okay? Uh, I think we have it all in for this. Hopefully, you've got a good idea about the definition of science. Hopefully, you can list some of the scientific practices, okay? Um, and also, you need to be able to briefly, basically define what is biology, okay? Um, please bring your jotted notes down, those little brainstorming things, to 10 to 20 seconds. That will be your note requirement for me for this video, all right? And I will leave you with Mr. Thomas Dolby, and she blinded me with science one more. Goodbye. Ow!